Good morning, students. Good morning, teachers. It's science time. Today, ang pag-uusapan natin is about genetics, specifically incomplete dominance in the case of the snapdragon plant. So, what is all about that incomplete dominance? So, incomplete dominance is the pattern of heredity in which one allele is not completely dominant over the other. This idea of inheritance is different from Mendelian pattern of inheritance in such a way that in Mendelian law, it focuses more on the law of dominance and the law of recessiveness. Ibig sabihin, may dalawang uri ng trait. Dominant, yung mas malakas na trait, at recessive, yung mas mahina or hidden trait. Dito po sa incomplete dominance, walang recessive at wala ring dominant trait. At para mas maintindihan natin, let us have an example. So this is a picture of a snapdragon plant. We have the red one and the white one. When a red flower is crossed with a white flower, the resulting offspring plant is pink. So, so, kung titignan natin, walang nangingibabaw na kulay pagdating sa offspring or tinatawag na magiging anak, kundi the trait will be intermediate. Ibig sabihin, nasa gitna ng dalawang kulay. Okay. So, ang susunod na part is solving genetic problems of incomplete dominance in the case of the snapdragon plant. So, let us see. Say, for example, when a purebred red plants and a purebred white plants are crossed, what will be the flower color of the resulting offspring? So, intindihin natin yung problem, mga kaibigan or mga students. Ulitin natin. When a purebred red plants and purebred white plants are crossed, what will be the flower color of the resulting offspring? So, ang tinatanong dito, ano ang magiging trait ng resulting offspring? So, pag naka-encounter tayo ng ganitong problem, ano muna ang una nating gagawin? So, yun, red purebred red plants and the purebred white plants. Una, Hanapin muna natin ang kanilang ang trait ng kanilang parent or tinatawag nating P1. So in this case ng problem, meron tayong red at meron tayong white. Okay? Offspring ang hinahanap natin. So, what will be the first step? Okay, ang first step na gagawin natin is to know the genotypes and phenotypes of the parental traits. Ano ibig sabihin ng phenotype at saka genotype? Phenotype, yung karakteristik. Genotype, yung letters or symbols or alleles na gagamitin natin to solve this particular So, dahil ang pinag-uusapan natin ay flower color, let us designate letter F as our a symbol for a genotype for flower color. Okay? So, una is the designate tayo ng genotype. So, gamitin natin yung letter F para sa flower color. Take note, students, pag tayo nagde-designate ng trait, it always comes in pairs or tinatawag nating alleles. So, F ang gagamitin natin. Raise to capital R. Anong ibi? Bakit R? For the red trait, yan. And for the white trait naman, as is pa rin, F, F. So, since white ito, gagamitin natin yung W, capital W and capital W. Okay? How about sa pink? So, tingnan natin, F pa rin, dahil flower color ang pinagkakross natin. Another F, because they comes in pair, and since it is a pink, it is a combination of the parent. So, we have R, capital R, and capital W. So, this is for the red. This is for the white. And this is for the pink. 
Okay. So, itong mga descriptions na to, ang tawag sa kanila is phenotype. Ito. Yan. Red, white, hot, pink. Ang tawag dyan is phenotype. And the F raised to R, F raised to R, F raised to W, F raised to W, F raised to R, and F raised to W, ang tawag naman dito are the genotypes. Okay, tatandaan natin ha. Description is for the phenotypes. The letters that represents those traits are called the genotypes. Okay. Okay, so let us solve. Okay, so let's start with the problem solving part. Okay, katulad ng sinabi kanina yung problem natin. Mm -hmm, balikan natin. When purebred red plants and purebred white plants are crossed, what will be the flower color of the resulting offsprings? So, in-emphasize natin, purebred red plants and the purebred white plants. Okay, sige. Start na tayo. Una, sulat muna natin yung mga uh, characteristic na ating parental generation 1 or yung parent nila. Okay, so we have the red. Okay, lagi natin sinusulat to para ano, para nare-remind tayo. Tsaka white. Tama, red, tsaka white. Okay, so lagyan natin versus. Red versus white. Okay, so katulad ng diniscuss natin kanina para sa red, the genotype is Okay, very good. F raised to capital R. F raised to capital R. And for the white naman, that is F raised to capital, ano? Okay, galing. W. Okay. And then, next is, uh, paghiwalayin natin. Kasi, yun yung sinabi ni Mendel. Law of independent assortment. Or, law of segregation. Yung magana. Okay. Then, ilalagay natin siya sa Punnett Square. Gawa tayo ng malaking box. Yun yung Punnett Square. Ang tawag ng iba is Punnett Rectangle. Kasi, hindi naman daw mukhang square. Mukha na maka daw rectangle. Sige. May punto nga naman sila. Okay. Pwede hindi siya perfect square. Okay. Pwede lagyan natin ng lines. So, ilang lines yun? Bilangin natin. We have nine boxes. Okay, so yung unang-unang box sa upper left, tama, it will be an empty box. Empty box. Kasi sa ibang genetic problems, dito nilalagay yung symbol ng male at saka female. Pero since we are talking about plants and it's not indicated in the problem which one is the female plant and the, which one is the male plant, let us leave it blank. Okay? And then the second topmost, doon natin ilalagay yung mga alibis. So, unahin natin sa red. Ayan. F raised to R. And then, F raised to capital R. Pwede silang magkabaliktad. Kung gusto nyo, dito nyo ilagay yung red. Or yung white, pwede rin. Sa baba yung red, pwede rin. Okay. Pares lang naman kasi yung kalalabasan. And then, sa white, sa side na part. F raised to W. And then, F raised to W. Okay. Now, susunod is puntahan naman natin yung natitirang apat na boxes. Yung apat na boxes na yan designates the, pe, the traits of the offsprings. So, dito tayo titingin sa offsprings or kalalabasan. So, papaano to sasagutan? Madali lang yan. Kung ano yung box, so nakikita nyo yung pinakakit na, ano yung nakatapat na boxes na yon pag tatabihin nyo lang. So, dito sa gitna, makikita nyo sa bandang taas niya, F raised to R. Sa bandang kilid is F raised to W. Pagtatabihin nyo lang yun. So, F raised to R, F raised to W. So, sigurong umis, ang kumaan sa isip nyo, pwede bang magkabaliktad? Pwede bang F raised to W, tas F raised to R? Pwede lang din. Pero kasakis kasi ng ganito, pinafollow natin yung alphabetical order. Okay, next box is F raised to R and then F raised to A and W. Okay, next is sa baba. And then F raised to R and then F raised to W. Okay, 
the last one is f raised to r and then f raised to w okay so tapos na yung ating punnett square okay third step balikan natin yung tanong what will be the flower color of the resulting offspring so ang tinutukoy na offspring dito is tong apat na boxes na yan 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 yung naka white na na ink those are the offsprings okay so balikan natin f raised to r kopyahin natin f raised to w okay so bilangin natin kung ilan yung ganito sa offspring na box so we have 1 tapos 2 tapos 3 and then tapos 4 okay so ibig sabihin apat na ganyan so apat na ganyan out of apat na boxes para sa offsprings so kung i-interpret natin to ano ulit ang phenotype pag sinabing r or f raised to r and f raised to w okay good that is for pink okay ilang pink kunin naman natin ang percentage ilang pink so kung 4 over 4 yan ilang percent yan okay tama ang galing sa math so that will be 100 percent so, dito sa question natin that what will be the flower color of the resulting offspring, ang sagot is 100% pink. Okay? Okay, next, next, next problem. Problem number 2. Diba? Nakatapos na tayo sa problem number 1. Okay, so here is your problem number 2. When both pink flowers are crossed, what will be the flower color of the resulting offsprings? So, kung titignan naman natin, ano ang ipagkakross natin sa problem na to? Okay, nakalagay is both pink flowers. So, katulad ng ginawa natin, una, sulat muna natin yung symbol ng kanilang P1. So, ito P1. Or parental generation 1 or yung parent nila. So, since it is indicated pink flowers both, ibig sabihin dalawang Pink. So, that will be pink versus pink. Okay? Yes. So, not genotype ng pink? Mm-hmm. Sige. Natatandaan pa. Okay. Tama. So, F raised to R. F raised to W. Okay. And then, ganun ulit. F raised to R. Then, F raised to W. Okay. Ganun ulit. Law of Ayan. Segregation. And then, segregate natin. Ayan. Then, lagay ulit natin sa Punnett Square. O, oh, ba? Mas okay yung Punnett Square ko ngayon kaysa kanina. Mas maganda. Na master na. Okay, ganun pa rin. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then, ilalagay natin sila sa bawat box. Again, sa una, it's blank. Okay, ilagay natin. So, F raised to R. Then, F raised to W. Isa sa nagiging common problem ng mga estudyante pag magtuturo ako nito is yung dalawa, pinaglalagay nila sa isang box lang. So, huwag ninyong dalawahin sa isang box, ha? Isa-isa lang. Ayan. Okay. And then, next is for the offsprings. Okay. So, tingnan natin. It's F mm -hmm, raised to R na capital. And then, F raised to capital R. Okay. Sunod is F, o oh, sabayan nyo ako, raised to R. And then, ang susunod. Okay, sige. F raised to W. Okay, sa baba. Mm -hmm. Sa isip nyo, sagutan nyo para makasunod. Raised to R and then F raised to W. Okay, and then the last one, we have F raised to W and then F 
case to W. Okay, so let's go to the offsprings. Natin para sa offsprings. Mm -hmm. Sorry, namali ng pindot. Okay, para sa offsprings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sa offsprings, kailangan natin F raised to R. Sulat natin, kopyahin lang natin. F raised to R, then F raised to R. Okay, ang description nito is red. Tama? Okay, kasi dalawang R. Okay, ilang ganito? Isa out of apat. Tama? O ilang percent yun? One fourth is equal to 25%. Okay. Good. Next is F raise to R F raise to W. Kinokopy lang natin ha, yung nasa offsprings. Okay, so this will be for RW. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay, ilang ganito? Ilang natin? So, 1, tapos 2. Diba? Dalawang RW. So, that will be 2 over 2. Ay, over, sorry. 2 over 4. Kasi apat na, na box is para sa offspring. So, that will be 50%. Okay? And the last one, we have F raised to W and then F raised to W. O, sisi na lang sa inyo to. So, that will be white. Diba? Okay. Ilang white? That is 1 over 4 which is equivalent sa 25%. Okay, so that's it. Kayang-kaya nyo na. So next time na meron kayo may encounter na incomplete dominance problems regarding sa flower color, alam na natin kung paano sagutan. So I hope na natuto ang bawat isa sa atin sa panonood ng video nito. Please subscribe. Thank you.